A student walks a distance of 500 meters east, then walks 1,200 meters north. What is the magnitude of the net displacement? So first we're going to draw the first vector that we have. So if we start at this point here and go 500 meters to the east, this is our vector, first vector. Then if we move 1,200 meters north, we go from the point that we last ended, and then we go 1,200 meters north. Now the resultant vector is from our initial starting point to where our final vector arrow ends. So this is our resultant, which we're going to call R for resultant. Now, we have to calculate the magnitude of R. So we know from the Pythagorean theorem, if we are given a triangle with legs A and B and hypotenuse C, we can solve for C based off of A and B, knowing C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And if we solve for C, we take the square root of both sides, which leaves us C to go to the square root of A squared plus B squared. If we apply that to this triangle here, we would find that R is equal to the square root of 500 meters squared plus 1200 meters squared. So R is equal to 500 squared is 250,000 plus uh, 1,200 meters, 144, 1, 2, 3, 4, would be 1,440,000. If we now add those together, R is equal to the square root of 1,690,000. And if we take the square root of that, we would be left with 1300 meters. So our magnitude of R is 1300 meters. If we go to our answer choices now, A says 1090 meters, it's wrong. B says 700 meters, wrong. C says 1700 meters, it's too great. D says 1300 meters, which is our calculated value. So D is correct. Now, you could have used, to an extent, a process of elimination here. You would know that A and B are definitely wrong because one of our legs is 1,200 meters. So the hypotenuse is either equal to or greater than all of these. So you know that A and B are definitely wrong. C is a possibility, and D is also a possibility. So that's why you also have to go through and calculate it. So once again... The magnitude of R is 1300 meters.